Hello viewers, welcome back to channel. Now we're finally here to rank all the 23 MCU films from the worst to the best. I know I, sh I should have done an episode review first, but yeah, here we are. Let's do a ranking first. Then we're gonna go to an episode review. Sorry if I keep Alexa changing up my whole Lexi plans. Anyways, let's get started. So yeah, coming number 23 is Thor The Dark World, a really bland movie. I just did not like the villain. He's way too generic. Uh, Loki is of course the best part of the movie, and of course the best character. Thor is still a likable character, and always. And yet, the comedy is uh, kind of mixed. Overall, okay and mediocre film for me. Number 22 is the original Thor. Now, a lot of people just love this one. I'm not really into Thor, but yeah, there's some really good moments. Especially with the fish out of water comedy, and, and there's some nice f fun gags with it. And Loki's still the best part of Thor, yes, of course, why isn't, why isn't so obvious, because he brings the awesome comedy. But yeah, th there are some parts where I didn't enjoy, so yeah, overall, I kind of found this one pretty okay. 21 Iron Man 2, now fin finishing off the bottom three, uh, this one felt like a big, felt like a worse, uh, see, felt like the worst, uh, Iron Man sequel that I've seen, yeah. This is my second least favorite sequel in the MCU. There's, I'm not sure I kind of find this one more rewatchable than, Th than Thor 2, but yeah, this is what this is actually one of my least favorite sequels in the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, I did not like uh, Tony Stark in this one. He's kind of a little bit unlikable, and the villains, um, except for Hammer, are just kind of weak. Overall, kind of forgettable movie. Bring us to the top 20 is Captain Marvel. Now, the 21st film in the MCU is is a kind of, like, say, oh, decent. Uh, I like the whole, like, say, part where Nick Fury and, and Captain Marvel going are going there to, like, say, a shield base to search for, um, uh, for like, say, Lawson's, um, uh, for, La for Lawson's, like, say, past, like, say, missions, whatever call it. But yeah, but yeah there's some parts where... Where there's some parts of the comedy I just did not like, and and yeah, there's some and the, and some of the jokes. Yeah, there's actually one joke that kind of that kind of like say reference the Mummy two, which I didn't like. So yeah, overall, this is an okay film. I mean, a good film. Though Brie Larson's kind of like say miscast for me as Captain Marvel. Bring us to number nineteen, The Incredible Hulk. Yes, this is one of the most unpopular opinions I have in terms of Marvel movies. The Incredible Hulk is way too high on my list. Um, uh, while a lot of people did not like Incredible Hulk, I kind of found fun with this one. There's a lot of fun elements in this one, though I don't think it actually deserves to have be hated as much as it does. Bring us to number 18 is Iron Man 3. Now, this is probably one of the most divisive films on the list, mainly because of the Mandarin twist, which a lot of people did not like. I'm... I'm kind of like saying okay with the twist. I mean, I was kind of disappointing that he's not the Mandarin. But yeah, it, I'm not, I'm not like saying on those camp that, oh man, this is so frustrating. It's kind of okay for me. Overall, not the best MCU movie. Just decent. Not really the best. 17, Age of Ultron. Now, a lot of people really love this one. I didn't love it as much as others, but it is a very decent film. Ultron was very cool as a villain. I just like his really cool voice. Performed by James Sp Spader. Uh, the relationship, I didn't really love it as much as... I didn't really love it as much as other people. Yeah, the action sequences. There's a lot of great action sequences, and and Quicksilver being killed off, very, very much like say wasted potential for a really good for a really good character. Overall, a good film, despite some plot, despite some bad parts in in terms of of the movie. Sixteen's Homecoming. Now a lot of people love this one. A lot of people consider this to be the best. One of the best MCU movies. I kind I kind of thought this one's overrated, but it is decently told. A uh, Peter Parker is so funny in this one. Uh, some of the jokes, yeah. There's actually one relating to kissing a girl, which I didn't like. Porn joke, I kind of laughed at that one. Yeah. Everything else, eh, not too too much. Tom Holland still awesome as Spider Man, but yeah, not very the best. Not the best MCU movie for me. Fifteen Doctor Strange. Now people put this one way too high, and I. I kind of got bored out of it some parts. There's some, let's say, es exposition that I just kind of got bored of. Uh, Wong, yeah, I think he needs some, let's say, more development in all these films. 
really, I might wish he got more development in Endgame, but yeah, sadly he didn't. But yeah, Doctor Strange as um, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch is playing him. I like him. Yeah, he was actually my favorite Avenger, but I bet you know who's my new favorite. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you've been watching my channel for a lot of time. Anyways, good film, not very the great, not really the greatest. The film was also weak too. Fourteen Ant Man. Now this is the smallest hero of the MCU. A lot of people just think this one is kind of like say unneeded, but this one is very underrated, very decently told, and I kind of like this one. Uh, people should love this one more than it already has. Thirteen. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Now, people put this one as top 5 their best MCU movies. I'm not really in that camp, but it is a very good sequel. Uh, it has some really good elements. That, uh, it is as good as the first one, but not as really as good as the first one. There's some funny jokes that I love. Drax is still hilarious. Uh, Star Lord is still my favorite of the Guardians. Yondu is my favorite character. Uh, the Sovereign, uh, Taser Face, and Ego. Mm, kind of mix on these villains. Overall, very good, very good sequel. Definitely an improvement over some of the worst sequels like Age of Ultron and Iron Man 2. Now let's move on to the very good section. Number number 12 is Captain America the First Avenger. A lot of people just think this one was way too boring and should not be loved as much. But I have zero idea. It was a really good film. It just, I like Captain America's origin story. Sure, the second half wasn't as good as the first half. Really, but other than that, really good film. So, solid uh, entertainment. Number 11, Ant-Man and the Wasp. This is a really, very good improved sequel of the original. Uh, a lot of MCU movies have the second film being the curse. Yeah, most films have the third one being cursed. But yeah, this the second one. The sequels, the second films aren't as good as the original. But yeah, this is one of those cases where I thought the, the second film was a lot better than the original. Kind of like Winter Soldier. Yeah, this is a really good sequel, like Wasp and Ant-Man teaming up to, to stop Ghost and, and Birch. But yeah, though, though I wish there were more action sequences than it already has, still very good sequel. Bring us to the top 10 is Black Panther, a great villain, a decent hero, uh, some really good side characters like Shuri, or Shuri and Okoye and Mbaku. Yeah, there's a lot of good uh, parts in this film, though I think T'Challa's character is still a bit the... Uh, was a little bit mixed for me. Overall, this is a really good film, despite the fact that there, it kind of feels reminiscent to Lion King and a bit of Ragnarok. Nine, obviously, Ragnarok. Kind of funny, right? Yeah, Ragnarok is one of my favorite movies in the MCU. Yeah, way bigger improved than the first two Thor films. Very funny. Jeff Goldblum is hilarious in this one. There's a lot of great jokes in this one. Very, very humorous entertainment. Bring us to number eight is Far From Home. Now that now, after taking place after Endgame, eh, uh, though it's kind of worse than Endgame, this is a very good sequel. Definitely watch my first video. 7. Iron Man. The best origin movie of MCU. Very entertaining. Love Robert Downey Jr.'s performance. Yeah, Pepper Potts is still awesome. Iron Monger is probably one of my favorite villains in the MCU. 6. Civil War. Uh, like the, let's say, whole rivalry between Captain America and Iron Man. The airport sequence was really good, and the final battle was kind of was personal for me. Bring us to the top 5 is Marvel's The Avengers. Bean and Feige brought on a whole group of heroes and they made it to work. Really awesome action sequences, the Chitari and the other shot scenes, really cool. Yeah, Loki's still awesome as always. Overall, really good entertainment. 4, Winter Soldier, another great movie in MCU. Sure, sure it's kind of like say weird how they handle like, sure I didn't like the way how they handle Nick Fury's death. Overall, really good film, despite there's a fake death scene in this one. Top 3, Guardians of the Galaxy. Another great first movie. Not, don't have much to say, except awesome. 2 and 1, Infinity War and Endgame. Yes, both um, both sequels to Age of Ultron, really good. <laughs> Just uh, love Endgame and Infinity War. Uh, I kind of actually have in my head which is better, so I can choose Endgame's better. So yeah, Endgame's the best movie in MCU. Infinity War is the second best overall great entertainment. Thanos is my favorite villain in the MCU. Yeah, and that... Uh, and Iron Man and Black Widow's death handled and Endgame was really sad. Thanks for watching this video, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Episode review. Get ready to be hyped for the next video.